Okay, good afternoon. Um, it is uh, December 7th, um, 2018. Um, it's about 2.30 to 15 p.m. Um, I thought I'd do a special vlog because I haven't done one in a while. Um, I actually attempted to do one a couple of days ago. And um, going through the editing process and everything, um, there were a lot of things that weren't right with that. So I'm going to do the vlog right now and tell you what's going on. As you can tell, I'm in bed. Um, the reason I'm in bed is I'm recovering from a um, surgery that I had to have on the 21st of November. Um, the backstory to the surgery was um, I wasn't feeling well at the end of October. I had just come off of a cold of a cold for three weeks um was having a hard time shaking it um n the beginning of november came i was having some pain in on my right side um but it wasn't severe pain it was just like i was really cramping um and i didn't think anything of it um the second week of, of November, my pain was still there, and it was getting more um, intense depending on what I was doing. Um, I had all of my jeepers begging me to go to the emergency room to get checked out. Um, this was probably right around the 5th of November. Um, I decided not to go to the emergency room because I felt like what I had was just a symptom of... of the cold that I had and I was having problems shaking it. Um, I went to my best friend Lenore's birthday party um, on the 11th, uh, played volleyball, stretched some muscles, um, was having kind of a hard time walking. I was drinking um, everything and I wasn't feeling 100%. I was feeling about 70% um, at that point. Um, Again, everybody was like, you really need to go to the emergency room. You need to really be checked out. Um, I said, you know, I'll make an appointment with my doctor. My doctor will, will, is good at keeping up with my symptoms and stuff. So, um, about the 15th, I went and saw my primary. My primary took some blood, um, felt my abdomen. He didn't, he wasn't concerned because... My pain was not great. Um, I, I did tell him I was having a lot of pain up underneath um, the rib cage, up where my liver and my gallbladder was. So he said, all right. He's like, you know, take it easy, rest. Um, let me know if there's any changes. Well, that weekend, I started getting a little bit more sick. I was having a little bit more cramping on the right side, but now it was spreading to the left side. Um, called the doctor on Monday, um, the week of Thanksgiving. Um, he said again, he's like, you know, there's not, we can't prescribe antibiotics. He's like, whatever it is that's running its course, you'll be fine. So that Monday, um, I just kind of took it easy. Tuesday came, um, I wasn't feeling well Tuesday. I was getting more nauseous, um, I was still eating, but um, I, w I was having pain. Um, Wednesday, the 21st of November came. I had to take the camper uh, to the dealer uh, to get winterized because I had postponed it for three times. Um, so it had to be done. Um, I managed to hook it up. I got it to the um, dealer, and I started really having bad pains on the right side. Um, left it at the dealer, um, came home, took a shower and told my husband, I'm like, all right, I've had enough. I'm like, um, I'm, I'm having a lot more pain today. I need to go to the emergency room. Um, fortunately he said, okay. He's like, which one do you want to go to? And I'm like, well, let's go downtown. The one that my primary, um, physician is out of, we'll just go there Worst case scenario, they'll give me fluids and they'll send me home. Um, got to the emergency room about 2.50 that afternoon. Um, there are two parts to the emergency room. There's the main general emergency room where 
people go um, that have extreme emergencies. Um, the ambulances will bring their patients into the main emergency room. And then they have what they call kind of like an outpatient, you're not really, you're not dying emergency room. Um, you kind of things take longer in that particular emergency room but you're you're not an emergency so they put me there they started an IV on me um took a lot of uh blood from me and then sent me up for cat scan um I had the cat scan was went back to the 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 rinky dinky the um emergency room was there for 15 minutes about um Went to pee, peed, came back. Um, my nurse came running over and said, grab everything you have and follow me. And I'm like, okay, I'm being discharged. I'm going to go home. She's like, I have to put you in the general emergency room. And I said, okay. She's like, the doctors want to talk to you. She's like, we need to get you ready for surgery. And I said, okay. I kind of was freaking out because I was like, what? the hell is going on um with me um I got into the the main emergency room and a team of five doctors came down and they examined me um the surgeon came down and she said she goes you have appendicitis she's like we are prepping an OR for you she's like you're going up to the surgical um floor we're going to admit you into the hospital um and do the surgery now, this was the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so um, this was about 6.15, about 6.45, they took me up to the recovery part of the um, operating room. Bob came with me, um, they prepped me, and about 7.50, they wheeled me into surgery. Um, I had a, my appendix had burst, it um, had burst probably for at least two, possibly even three weeks previous. It had burst and I was um, starting to battle a massive infection in my abdomen. Um, so my surgery took a lot longer than a normal appendectomy. Um, I did have a laparoscopic um, appendectomy. Um, they had to make an extra hole though, in order to get my appendix out because of the way that it had burst, it was enormous. Um, and because of the infection was starting to overtake my intestinal system. Um, I was on a lot of antibiotics. I was in the hospital for three days. Um, I am now two weeks post-operate, post-op. Um, I'm on bed rest until the middle of January. Um, I'm not going to show you um, what I currently look like, um, but, um, I will show pictures from when I was in the hospital. I'll add this to the vlog. So, I'm on bed rest right now. I am starting to get, um, myself acc acclimated to going out and doing little things. Um, like last night I, I went out for a little while, uh, just because I needed to get out of the house. Um, I cannot lift anything heavy than five pounds right now. I'm on a no pull, no push um, regiment for the next um, four weeks. So it's six weeks total of no push, no pull. Um, so I have four more weeks to go. So anyway, I figured I would share that with you guys. Um, uh, right now, I'm just taking it easy. I'm not doing anything crazy for Christmas. Um, in fact, I can't decorate. I can't do any of that. So I'm not doing um, anything big for Christmas. Um, I am going to a Hall uh, Halloween. I'm going to a holiday party uh, tomorrow with the Jeepers. Um, it'll be my first official outing since the surgery. And we'll see how that goes. So um, I thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm not going to do daily vlogs right now. Um, probably after I fully get back to normal next year, I'll start doing them more readily. Um, so thank you for watching and tune in soon to, for another update.